All right, today I'm gonna do a review of Entropia Universe. Uh, this is a pretty good game. It's a MMORPG style kind of game. Um, it's got good graphic, but not only that, this game um, actually pays you to play. Uh, it's got some um, a currency, in-game currency that can be actually changed to real money and transferred to your bank account. It's not gonna be a lot of money. But, you know, you can't be playing a game and get paid for it. Most of the game you have to pay for. So, um, let me show you how the game looks like it. Um, I like it. Uh, it's, it's a very big game. So, um, let me launch the game and uh, I'll show you how it works. Second, we are right. Let's ensure the rendering. All right, so this is how you look like when you first log in. Uh, you can zoom in and uh, look at yourself around. Been playing it for a few days. I'm not an expert on it so um i'll show you around a little bit of the killing there's some easy to kill creature over here um this is the first world you get after you finish the tutorial so i did not make a video of the tutorial um you can do the tutorial and learn the game um, I'm just going to show you in a little bit how this game works. So right now I'm shoot that one. Yeah, okay. Uh, press F to pick up. And what you see over there, um, those are actually the game currency. Then, uh, um, can be exchanged for real money. So um, up here on this uh, on this icon, one of them is the tra uh, there you go, transfer center. This will actually you can deposit money or withdraw money. Uh, see Visa, bank transfer. Blah, blah blah so that's how you um, that's how you transfer the money but um, gonna have to play quite a bit you know I don't have uh, in a couple of days uh, um, let me show you my inventory There you go, material. So this is what I got so far. Um, 0 0.34 PED, and I forgot how much PED you need to transform it into um, real money. So don't think you're gonna get rich all of the sudden, but you know that's the way this game works. So when you first uh, arrive to this island. Uh, you be you basically get teleported over here. This is the first person you talk to when you first arrive. If she doesn't talk to you at first. Um, I had to log out and log back in. Sometimes there's glitches like in every game. Okay, so show you a little bit. Um, this game is huge. Uh, the map of this game. I'm right here right now, so it's this is this this island over here. I don't know if you call it island or whatever, um, but you got more than one location, and also you get you get to go to space too, other planets. So I don't know really how much involvement there is, but um, and again I just started the game. 
so it, the graphics are pretty good depending on your video card you can set them to um, extreme or low quality uh, you know so it's all depending on your system you can play this game with the not as good of a system I use camp pickers um, here yeah, there's a base and the base um, you got all your stuff and everything there's terminals outside so you don't have to go inside I'm not sure what that one is for it's not saying anything but anyway when you go in okay this is your tray terminal so Okay, I pressed the wrong button. F. Okay, so over here you can buy ammunition, armor, weapons, mining equipment, tools, medical, and chancer uh, components, and some miscellaneous. Uh, you can sell your equipment and stuff. Uh, let's see um, doesn't really say over here if you can sell for money yet but this you got money and deeds over here you got this card PED card cannot be traded or sold um, I'm not sure where and how you make the conversion but I'm just gonna show you around. Uh, you kind of have to play the game and figure it out. Uh, this is my storage. So over here I got stuff that I already saved. I put the money over here because uh, that stuff can be looted. So it's better to keep it in there. If I need it, I can always withdraw. Then uh, keep it on you and. Uh, on PvP you get killed and you get looted. So um let's move terminal here, this is repair terminal. If your equipment is uh needs repairs, that's where you go. Over here you go to different levels um, uh, we are on level one, you can go to level two. Okay, so we're on level 2. This is where the auction takes place. There's an auctioneer over here. Um, it's, uh, you can put your stuff in there to be auctioned out. Um, my beads, my warfers. Um, you can see what's being sold. And... Uh, I'm not sure if this is where you make the money, but there's a lot of people bidding over here, so there's a lot of bets. You don't have to be online for the bet, you know. So people bid and then they, they move away. Yeah, there's another trade terminal, another repair terminal, and uh, another storage. That's because you could be coming up here from uh, from this side instead of coming from the first floor uh, we've got another NPC over there you can go to a third floor okay use the elevator go to the third floor and there's not four floors so I think there's only three floors and it's like uh, an attic uh, no not an attic but like a terrace where you can look out, there's nothing really up here. I don't know if you can shoot stuff from here, but anyway. Let's go back to the first floor. Go and 
browse around. As you get out, and then you're gonna encounter monsters, mobs, stuff that you can kill basically. Um, around here, you see they only have one stripe. Uh, you know, they're novice monsters. Uh, the farther you go, the, the stronger they're gonna get. So, um, let me show you around a little bit. So, like most games, uh, Jay is your journal with your with your quest, um, you can uh, track the quest, so you can decide which quest you want to do. For example, I don't want to track this one, I want to track the other quest. That will change, uh, you know, your your um, uh, your map, as you see on the lower right hand corner. Um, now you got a little round circle over there, that's basically uh, the gambler organizer is 104 meters away from me. So if I go back to journal and I untrack that and I say I'm going to track uh, the trophy hunter. Okay, so now my um, my uh, compass over there has the little dot circle pointing to the other direction. So that's where I'm supposed to go to hunt for trophies. Um, as you see on my quest, uh, let me go to the quest. Okay, so these are the quests. So acquires, I only have one quest going on. So as a trophy hunt. Um, so I need to acquire a trophy from uh, a mob called Bericol and mob called Caudaterigus. They're some kind of a dinosaur kind of thing. So um, let me show you the rest of the icons. Um, Mission Galactica. Um, these are the dialogues so far of the people I've been talking to. Um, progress it shows some of my progress anatomy uh, brawler uh, you know some of the, the things um, professions I have no professions right now I achieved six professions but uh, they're all level zero so as you see, you, know, you need to work on that. So, um, skills. Here's your skills. Uh, when you start, uh, uh, you're going to be a newbie on pretty much everything. Yeah, anatomy uh, is the only one, I guess, um, I'm, I'm a poor right now. Um, so, I'm not sure if it explains you what, the, what that does, but I wonder what the question mark does. Nah. But anyway, um, these are all the skills. I'm almost, uh, I guess, a poor on athletic. A few more jumps and runs. Combat. The reflexes, still an Ubi. Again, I started a couple of days ago. Um, just going through it. But these are the, the skills, attribute, design, combat skills. Um, but you can just choose all categories and it shows all of them. Um, next, you got your inventory. Okay, that's these. Shows your armor. Okay, so this is what's uh, in my inventory. It's just the clothes. I'm wearing this armor, but I got no pants. And, uh, as you can see, I'm wearing some kind of like bathing suit. Um, these are my weapons. 
These are my tools. Okay, the various tools. Survey probe, JG Star Rookie Extractor. This is to get minerals from the ground. Just our rookie finder. Uh, then you go Vivo Explorer. I think this is to heal yourself. Yeah, healing tool. That's a survey tool, healing tool. Um, DSE MK1. Creature Resource Extractor. So, um. I don't know if you're supposed to use that on a live creature or dead creature. Anyway, I, I don't think I tried it yet. Anyway, uh, materials, I don't have any because I deposited uh, Mine resources, I have a mine. Blueprints. Um, this is my vehicle. Um, I can double click and put it on the ground and drive, a, and drive that. Mine force, compact, I will make it small, and uh, toggle equipment, all, all equipment, anyway, close that, actually, let's go to the next one, mission load, the reason I need to press the item, because if I want to move the mouse, it doesn't move. Okay, so you need to tap something up so I can move the mouse. Now you can go to the mission log. That's your mission. Trophy hands. Basically, Alex Hawking uh, wants you to help me collect trophies from the various beasts roaming the wilderness just north of the camp of Icarus. Bring five paracles trophies and ten Kodakent mountain. Anyway, uh, you're gonna have to look at the mobs over there and when you mass over, tell you what they are. Alright, so, um, event list that will tell you what's going on, what events are going on. Um, Hall of Fame, uh, I'm not even anywhere near the Hall of Fame. Action library, and this one is said to be funny. Uh, you, you can actually, uh, by double click on it, you know, you can yeah. see, it'll, it'll do the action. Oh, wow, clap hands. Mad at somebody, you can argue. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, mm. angry. Ooh. So bored. <laughs> Flash. <laughs> <laughs> Try to get someone hey, attention. Hey, <laughs> So anyway, there's a there's a bunch of actions over here. Um, what else we got? Action library, transfer center, support center, main menu. Okay, I think we got covered that part. Um, M is the map. So you can see the map over here. Um, View cities, target to the reporters, view areas, and view homes. So you can zoom in or zoom out. Um, this is the various locations. There's a location all over the place. Um, what else? Well, on this side is your chat system. So you can chat with people over here. Just stop your stop your stuff like usual. Um, this is uh, shows your uh, your status. Right now, I show as being online, but I can change my status uh, to 
to invisible, do not disturb, away from keyboard. Um, But I can add users to uh, to my contacts. Um, I guess it's kind of like a chat uh, part of the things, you know, like a messenger thing. But anyway, um, okay. Why well, is not running? I must have pressed a key. There you go. So Q slows you, makes you walk. Pressing Q again uh, makes you go quick, I guess. Okay, so this guy is Puni, as you see over there. So, There you go. Him to hit me. Pressing F. I'll pick up the stuff. Okay. So that's how you shoot. And as you see on uh, this uh, chat log over here, I've gained uh, that much experience in your rifle, my rifle skill. You have gained new rank in rifle. So I guess I level up. You gain you have gained 0 0.4291 experience in your weapon handling skill. So if I go to skills right now and I look at my um my uh combat skills. Um I got promoted to poor into the rifle skills. So, I don't know if that's good enough yet, but you know, um, I guess uh, you need to keep leveling up to get better. Anyway, so um, I'll log out right now. And, um, you know, if you like this game and you like my video, please click on like and subscribe. I'll be um, doing some more reviews to other games as well. You know, uh, this game is definitely worth playing. Um, I only show you a little fraction of it. But basically, the interface and and some of the mobs around. But you know, but this game is huge, it's immense, and it pays you to play. So I don't think you can find another game that looks this good, and and you can get paid for it. All right. Thank you for watching, and uh, please subscribe.